Well, it's a good way to end off the day for the combination of Corson and uh, Dion Sampson. And well done to the owners as well. She's taken some time, but Louis is going to tell us a bit more. And she had uh, the worst of the draws to contend with, so it was a good ride here from uh, Dion. Firstly, congratulations. Nice to see you get the job done, Louis. Yeah, at last. We've had a quiet time. <clears throat> We're not a big yard. A lot of babies. They're two year olds. You know, they can't run now. And we're very strict at the moment. These horses that, that aren't making it must go. Salah's girl will be retired after this run. Um, we, we, we're not holding on to horses for too long. And you're going to ask me what, how come you hold on to this filly for so long. When you see her work at home now, Andrew, Andrew Harrison he comes down to track often. Ask him how this filly works. You cannot believe that a horse can still be a maiden and work like that. What she does in the race, we didn't know. And I must say, last time, I stuck Dion away out there. Dion and I have come a long, 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 long way. And I've, I tied him down to specific instructions, which were the worst thing I could have done for him. He should have gone closer last time. And he got himself in a pocket. And today I said, listen, now you know her. Ride her like you want to ride her like we think she should be ridden. Ride her from the front. And he rode a great race. Great race. But, you know, it's helping with Dion being part of the team, flying down here. He doesn't just come here for races. Now, he's been here since Sunday. He rode here Sunday. He's been at the stables and the track every day. So he's part of the team and, and, and rides the work, you know. So it's paid off handsomely, and uh, the owners as well, you know, patience has paid off. Yeah, Claude Komarov has been a stalwart of the yard. I'm so happy for him. It's his colors, the pink and white. Um, Claude, well done, Claude, and, and, and did love to enjoy it home. It's, it's fantastic mm -hmm. family, friends, and uh, Michael De Haas, International Racing Club. This is him uh, privately in, in Lingalonga, and, and Michael, uh, he, just, he just wanted to go with us with her, and he's been a fantastic um, inspiration to the yard, motivator, and... Uh, big supporter of the yard and, and, and the input of Michael into the yard is invaluable. Well, you mentioned it's been a slow start to the new season, but the one thing uh, that we cannot fault is the way the horses are looking. They're looking good and uh, now you just need the results. I think so. I think so. I think you've got a couple of horses that are, are really, you know, you've got lower, lower end horses that are difficult in the handicaps. It's also a difficult time of the year. And the poly, you've got to look at draws and things like that. But overall, the yard's okay. We, we, we just got a, a, little, a couple of these horses. Things must just go right and they'll be winning. But a big effort and a, and, 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 and a lot of excitement about what we've still got to come in the yard. Well done, Louis. Thank you very much. Once again, thanks to the owners. Thanks to Wonderwater for the hydration. Winning form, thank you. Nice way to end it off. Well, it's been some time since I've chatted to Dion. I've chatted to him on many, many occasions when I, uh, years back when I used to travel to uh, Kauteng as well. But My lucky charm. Lucky charm. Dion, well done. N nice to put one on the board for a stable that you, you're doing some work for. Yes, yes. Thanks a lot. Uh, firstly, these colors, Uncle Claude, you know, way we've got days, way we've got these days, come a long way. But uh, I must thank them. I must thank Michael, the international racing team, uh, you know, for their support. Uh, you know, without people supporting you in this industry, uh, you know, you, you're fighting, losing battle. Well, and to Louis, uh, you know, like I said to Louis, you know, the yard must just turn. Like you said, doors are looking well, but, you know, they're not working like that you want them to work. And this filly, funny enough, I spoke to Mark, I said, you know, I like her, but we were so worried about the draw. So today I warmed up and I got a going. One or two jocks picked up on the gates. Tristan, yeah, he picked up, he's going to go to the front. But the kid went quite hard in front and I just opted to tuck him behind him. Bided my time, and she won a gutsy race. And hopefully now we've, we've got on top of her now. Uh, I think it's a free running fully. Big, strong, so why not? Well, the last time out, uh, Louis got it wrong, and uh, by his own admission with the instructions, and today he just left it to you, and you just said, I'm going to ride this one with confidence. Yeah, you know, so much, uh, sometimes it just takes a bit more time to get to know horses, and sometimes we fall by mistake, and, and sometimes you try something different and it works. Um, like I said to Louis, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't want to run from behind. She doesn't like to go past horses. Uh, she likes a hot pace, and yes, she won a, she won a very good race today, although the margin does suggest it. The kids also actually started coming back at the finish. Um, uh, so, yeah, on this token, if she can just improve, and, you know, there's maybe definitely one or two left in the tank. And like I said, you know, sometimes you just get to know horses with your stable, with your owners, and they understand the industry as well. So, guys, thank you very much for the support. Wonder Water Lewis also taking me aboard with that, so I thank them all for that. Well, it's a, it's a friendship and a partnership that Louis touched on that goes back many, many years. And, you know, there's a, the wealth of experience with the many years that you got riding, uh, Dion. And hopefully it's, it's going to pay off handsomely because you mentioned you're just looking for that spark. And yeah. hopefully this is it. Yes, you do. And, you know, they've got a lot of babies. Uh, you know, I always believe when you get babies, there's always a triptease or Hashtag Strat or whatever's get this in the lurk. So you always, that's what we're all working towards, and you want that little champion that comes through the ranks, and I think he's got the stock to do it. It's just a question of getting there. 
Well, it's a tremendous ride from the draw. I wish you all the best and a nice way to end it off. And well done to all your boys. You know, it's been uh, one of those days where it's been on and off racing, but all your boys have done well in the jockey room. So well done to all the yeah, guys. Thank you, much. I, I love racing here. And yes, um, I must start doing, doing a bit more work for other trainers as well. And hopefully get one or two more supports. I can't agree thank with you much. more. All the best. Thanks, Liz. Lovely. Nice chatting to Dion. I haven't spoken to him in a while, as I mentioned. But it could be a massive quartet, and I mentioned that pick six dividend as well should be in excess of 163,000 rand. Six to 11 and 12 is the way they cross the line. And it's a wrap of our race meeting at Hollywood Bet Scottsville uh, this afternoon, where we had eight races carded. Congratulations to all the winners. A big thank you to Craig Peters calling all eight races. Uh, it's a big uh, team effort today. Uh, we know Mr. Fish and Mr. Chips, that's Matthew and Denver. And a new addition, I've had the pleasure of working with Mr. Curry and Rice, that's uh, Levi, uh, was in the hot seat as well. And of course, uh, Imlu uh, was my cameraman throughout the day. So thanks to Imlu as well, he's done an outstanding job. And until we meet again, uh, enjoy what's left of your evening. You take care. Salani Garshle.